What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Now, today on the table in front of us is something new from Kubi, and that is really cool. Uh, I was really into Kubi knives for a while. I have a number of them. Uh, then I sort of moved into something else and away from that. Uh, their designs and I weren't in sync, as it were. But then they started to release new stuff under the KB line, and those have been very, very interesting. This is the KB239 carbon fiber, also known as the Drake. And it is, well, it's really very good. I love this blade shape a bunch. Uh, the handle design is exceptionally comfortable. This is a big knife. It's OS 10. It is, as I said, carbon fiber. It is steel liners. It's a liner lock. It has a nice titanium clip and a titanium backspacer, which is a really nice touch. The lock bar is really easy to access, and the action on this thing, oops, is just superb. You know, never try to do something fancy when you're on camera. It's not going to work. Look, it is very, very good. It is also $100, which puts it into some pretty competitive price range for a lot of knives. And at OS 10, I'm not sure that that's the direction that I would have gone, but I've had this for a while now, and um, it holds an edge like crazy. And to me, that's enough. You know, it's not a super steel. These aren't really super steel prices either. Let's look at what you get for your money, shall we? You get one, two, three, and a half inches of cutting on four inches of OS 10. The overall knife is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three quarters inches long. The grip length is very nice. It is one, two, three, almost four inches to the back here, which means in my big hands, it sits very well. I mentioned the action before I screwed it up a little while ago. It is smooth on the ball bearings. It really is. I enjoy this knife quite a bit. The pocket clip means it rides the pocket pretty well. It's not buried deep carry, but man, that is not much knife sticking out. It really is well done. Let's take a look at the blade stock. It's not super thick, which means it's got a nice wide blade, so it comes to a very nice, very slicey edge. Let's take a look. Let's make sure that's zeroed. And it is. So the blade stock here is almost three millimeters. Can you see that? There we go, almost three millimeters. The handle at its thickest is 16.4 millimeters, which means really that we are uh, 0.6 and a half, almost 0.7 inches. So it's got a nice thick handle. Look, it's not a tiny knife, as I said. It is, however, easy to carry. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's heavy because of the carbon fiber, but because the uh, liners aren't milled at all, it is not lightweight either. Look, it's just a big, beautiful knife. <laughs> It really is. Yeah, it is artfully done. Uh, the OS 10 blade has got nothing in the way of the cutting path. It's got these beautiful swedge down here towards the front. The shape alone was enough for me to want this knife. I mean, that's primarily why I ordered it. I knew nothing about it initially. And then I ordered it, and I have been so happy with it. I carry it a ton. Let's go ahead and do a size comparison just for fun. Here it is against the uh, the rat Model 1, and as you can see, these knives are really, really close in size. Now, again, this knife is considerably more expensive, but it's a better knife. The OS 10 is better than the OS 8. It's running on bearings, so the action is smoother. It is more comfortable in hand by quite a bit than the Rat here. I love the Rat for what it is, a simple, functional, useful tool. I love the KB239 because it's the same beautifully functional, useful tool, only done much more artfully. Let's put it up against its little, oh, excuse me, bump the camera. Here is the Rat Model 2, and of course, as you can see, it just dwarfs it. This is a very nice big knife. Recently, I did a review on this. This is the Bestec Ascot. Uh, these knives are very similar. <clears throat> uh, this is D2. This is OS 10. They are within about 10 bucks of each other. Um, while this is a very nice, straightforward, plain pocket knife, 
the uh, KB239 manages to be equally useful without giving up style. And I think that matters. I really do. I love this thing. It has a nice choil. You can choke up. It's a little small for my big fingers. But because of the way they did the grind, it doesn't poke me. And that's very nice. It's got some jimping here, so you can get your thumb up. But really where I'm comfortable is moved up on the blade like this. It's great for push cuts. It has a nice robust tip, which is very cool. Um, in other words, this could be a very stabby knife if that was your thing. The carbon fiber is flawless. And I think that is something that needs to be mentioned because there are very expensive knives coming out now that have all forms of different carbon fiber on them. And there are gaps and voids. Not here. <laughs> this carbon fiber is really very well done. This is an excellent pocket knife. That's the long and short of it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I've enjoyed having it. This is actually a permanent part of the collection. If you have any questions about this knife or any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd love to have you here on a regular basis. Like the video on your way out, please, because it does help the channel. And we'll see you next time.